Hello, and welcome to episode number 523 of the Nutrition Diva podcast. I'm your host, Monica Reinagel, and today we're talking about quinine and tonic water. Can tonic water help you with leg cramps or ward off malaria? We'll find out. Our show received support this week from Pete and Jerry's Organic Eggs. Pete and Jerry's have done one thing for generations, produce eggs that you can be proud of. Their small family farmers across the country take pride in raising hens and providing certified organic free-range eggs that meet the highest standards. They do it because it's the right way to farm, and they want you to believe in what you buy. Learn more at PeteAndJerry's.com. That's P-E-T-E. A-N-D-G-E-R-R-Y-S dot com. Nutrition Diva listener Sherry wrote in this week with a great question. She wrote, is there anything about quinine that makes it worth drinking in the form of tonic water? I know some older people who are convinced that it helps with neurological issues. Does it have side effects or is it fairly benign even if it's ingested daily? Quinine is a bitter chemical that's extracted from the bark of the cinchona tree. It's used in tonic water to impart that characteristic bitter flavor. In fact, I've made my own tonic water using cinchona bark that I bought online. My recipe involved boiling the cinchona bark with some other spices like coriander and juniper berries, and then combining that extraction with citrus juice, grated citrus peels, and sugar, and straining the whole concoction to produce a syrup. And then to use it, I would add a tablespoon or two of this syrup to a glass and fill it with plain soda water. Gin, totally optional. Now, making your own tonic water is fun, especially if you like those sort of do-it-yourself projects that require a bunch of esoteric ingredients or equipment, take a lot of time, make a big mess, and ultimately produce something that you could have bought at the store for a buck. Of course, my tonic water tasted nothing like store-bought tonic water. Some of my friends thought that was a plus. Others, frankly, preferred the store-bought version. The other interesting thing about homemade tonic water is that it's not clear like store-bought tonic water, but more the color of weak tea. But back to Sherry's question, what are the medicinal uses of quinine? In addition to being used as a flavoring agent, quinine from cinchona bark can also be used as an effective treatment for malaria. Qualiquin is a prescription anti-malarial medication that contains quinine sulfate from cinchona bark. However, as more effective drugs have been developed, quinine is no longer the first-line treatment for malaria. It's basically used only in cases where no other drugs are available or in areas that have developed strains of malaria that are resistant to the first-line drugs, and it's also sometimes used to treat malaria in pregnant women. Cinchona bark contains another closely related compound called quinidine, It has some of the same medicinal benefits as quinine, such as fighting malaria. However, it tends to have more serious side effects, so it's not widely used. There is some ongoing research involving quinidine to treat certain rare neurological conditions, but the toxicity remains a real issue. Quinine also has gained a reputation as a treatment for restless leg syndrome and nighttime leg cramps, and many physicians have prescribed qualiquin, which is really for malaria, to patients who suffer from leg cramps. However, the FDA has issued a warning against this off-label use of quinine-containing medications. I'll have more about why the FDA recommends against the use of quinine for leg cramps after these messages from our sponsors. Time goes fast, and you don't want to waste too much of it getting life insurance. So save your time and try Policy Genius, the easy way to buy life insurance online. In just two minutes, you can compare quotes from the top insurers and find your best price. Once you apply, the Policy Genius team will handle all the paperwork and the red tape. No commissions, no hidden fees. And Policy Genius can also help you find the right home insurance, auto insurance, or disability insurance. They are your one-stop shop for financial protection. You know, my goal in the Nutrition Diva podcast is to share actionable ways to improve your health. Policy Genius is a way to protect your health too, your financial health. It's an affordable, simple way to make sure your family is taken care of. If you need life insurance, but you're short on time, head to policygenius.com and compare quotes. Policy Genius is easy, saves you time, and it's fast. Spend less time comparing life insurance and more time doing literally anything else with Policy Genius. Our show also receives support from Bulldog Yoga Online. 
Yoga is an amazing practice that offers benefits like increased strength, flexibility, and even better mental focus. But a lot of yoga classes are kind of intimidating, and it's easy to get discouraged and then not go back. Well, Bulldog Yoga Online takes the intimidation out of yoga and replaces it with great music, smiles, and no judgment. You can stream a class anywhere, anytime. They're taught in English, and they're set to great playlists of your favorite current music. And they offer all levels of instruction, from bulldog basics for newbies to aerobic-oriented classes that include resistance bands for extra challenge. And the classes range anywhere from just 12 to 60 minutes. I've tried several Bulldog Yoga Online classes, and I find all the teachers really positive and friendly, and I love the accessible teaching style. You can try your first month for free at bulldogonline.com slash nutrition diva. That's bulldogonline.com slash nutrition diva. The FDA recommends against the use of quinine containing medications for leg cramps. In rare cases, these drugs can have serious side effects, such as severe bleeding disorders or kidney damage, and less serious side effects like digestive upset and ringing in the ears are much more common. Now, malaria is a serious, sometimes life-threatening disease, and for people with malaria that is not responsive to other drugs or in cases where other drugs are not available, the benefits of quinine may outweigh those risks of side effects, but it's harder to justify those risks for the treatment of leg cramps, especially because there's not a lot of evidence to show that quinine is all that effective. Now, there's also some folk wisdom that drinking a glass of tonic water before bedtime will reduce nighttime leg cramps, but this is very unlikely to have any benefit, simply because the amount of quinine that you'd get from drinking tonic water is far too small to have any pharmacological effects. Just to give you some idea what we're talking about here, the recommended dosage of qualiquin for the treatment of malaria is about 2,000 milligrams per day. The typical dose for off-label treatment of leg cramps, which the FDA does not prohibit but does recommend against, is 200 to 500 milligrams per day, so quite a bit less. But the amount of quinine that you'd get from 8 ounces of tonic water is about 20 milligrams. Now, my homemade tonic water probably contained more quinine than store-bought tonic water, but it still probably has less than 50 milligrams. My point is that tonic water, even the homemade stuff, is unlikely to contain enough quinine to cause any side effects. However, it also doesn't contain enough quinine to produce any medical benefits. And there is one final thing to take into consideration, and that is the amount of sugar in tonic water. Eight ounces or a quarter liter of tonic water contains about 20 grams of added sugars. To give you a frame of reference, the recommended guideline for added sugars is 25 grams or less. So one little glass of tonic water uses up almost your entire allowance for the day. One advantage to the homemade stuff is that you can use a little bit less syrup and reduce the sugar content that way. And you could do the same thing by diluting store-bought tonic water with plain club soda. Either way, though, the quinine is purely for flavor. Thanks for your question, Sherry. If you have a question or a comment for me, you can call the Nutrition Diva listener line at 443-961-6206. I always love to hear from you. And I really appreciated this message from Liz. Hi there, Monica. This is Liz Wisnick. I am a registered dietitian in the Seattle area. And I just wanted to leave you a message on your hotline because I absolutely love your podcast. You are extremely eloquent, uh, 100% accurate, and just a joy to listen to. As a registered dietitian myself, I find myself nodding along to you all the time, and I go to you first when I want to explain a complex um, finding or situation to some of my clients. So thank you for all the work that you do. Um, I absolutely love your podcast, and I pass it on to others. So keep on keeping on. Thanks so much for that, Liz. I really appreciate it. And by the way, if you are also a nutrition or a fitness professional or a wellness coach, we have a fun opportunity for you to perhaps appear on the Nutrition Diva podcast and win a free registration to the Idea World Nutrition and Behavior Change Summit this June in Anaheim, California, where I will also be presenting. And you can find out more about that contest at bit.ly slash Idea World Contest. 
Also, my colleague Brock Armstrong, who hosts the Get Fit Guy podcast, and I have put together a free seven-day coaching program on losing the dieter's mindset. If you'd like to participate in the Way Less Mindset Reset, you can sign up by going to wayless.life slash reset. That's wayless.life slash reset. Our show is researched and written by me, Monica Reinagel, edited by Beata Santora, with invaluable support from the wonderful Quick and Dirty Tips team at Macmillan Publishing, and that includes Emily Miller, Michelle Margulis, Morgan Ratner, and our director, Kathy Doyle. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you next week. Take care.